Legends. Hey guys, welcome back to all the GTA 6. Today we'll be covering the latest GTA 6 leaks you can't miss. Let's get into the video. GTA 6 is pretty much an eventuality. Regardless of whether developer Rockstar is ready to announce anything yet, the huge success of the GTA series as a whole, coupled with the consistently strong player base of GTA Online, means another GTA game is a foregone conclusion, whether it's called GTA 6 or not. There are already plenty of rumors and hints to discover ahead of any eventual PS5 and Xbox Series X release for GTA 6, including the fact that the official Rockstar support account is telling fans to stay tuned for GTA 6 updates on Twitter. The most concrete bit of evidence we have comes from a Kotaku report following up on investigations into Rockstar's work culture. The report claims that GTA 6, or at least a new entry in the Grand Theft Auto series, is in early development as of April 2020. Additionally, it suggests that Rockstar's internal plan for the game is to release a slightly smaller game and then expand on it through regular updates. This suggests that GTA 6 will be built on the success of GTA Online by integrating more live service options, or it could be just a framework for GTA Online 2 outright. Either way, Rockstar remains tight-lipped about what we can expect from the highly anticipated RPG for now, but there are a few rumors circulating around on the internet, which we've paired with some particularly enthusiastic theories from the Games Radar team. To satiate your appetites, below you'll find everything we know about GTA 6, from how many playable characters it might have, to potential locations, thanks to a flood of information. The GTA 6 leak has a ton of new information that might be true. Take all this information with a pinch of salt. Make that two pinches, actually, since the game is reportedly very early in development. But the latest alleged GTA 6 leak comes from Reddit. User Jackalander1982 relayed a grand total of 23 details about Rockstar's upcoming game. As well as confirming that it's an in-development, they say that its codename is Project Americas, as the game will take place over multiple countries, namely Brazil in a fictional city based on Rio de Janeiro and Vice City in the US. Heavily influenced by Netflix's Narcos, you can find the information from Jackalander 1982 below, edited for clarity along with details from a separate potential leak on Fireden. The next GTA title has been in development since 2012, but production didn't begin properly until 2015, but even then the team was focusing more on Red Dead Redemption 2. It's another Rockstar Worldwide production, codename is Project Americas, set in both Vice City and a new fictional location based on Rio de Janeiro. Some linear missions take place in Liberty City, but it isn't an open world. Game will balance realism and arcade, and it won't be as realistic as Red Dead Redemption 2. One playable protagonist, male, not female, despite supposed leaks, set in the 1970s and 80s. You play as an up-and-coming juggler wannabe named Ricardo, another key character named Casey is part of the narrative. You start off as a grunt doing runs as a cocaine smuggler from Vice City to the new large South American area before making connections with big-time drug lords and making your way up multiple cities. There will also be a giant prison which will play a part in the game, will feature a chapter system similar to a Tarantino flick or Red Dead Redemption 2, well there's a heavy focus, building changes over the eras, vehicles too, so older rare classic cars get more expensive as time progresses etc, full economy. Heavily inspired by Netflix's Narcos, they want to have an incredible 70s and 80s soundtrack, a younger Martin Madrazo will make an appearance as well as father who is a big drug lord at the time, you do submissions for the Madrazo family involving hits on other gangs. Drug Empire Building is a mechanic similar to Vice City Stories, but bigger. Think the GTA Online system and dial it up to 10. You can only have weapons in your person, no arsenal in your back pocket, like Red Dead 2. Your personal vehicle will be like your horse saddle in Red Dead Redemption 2. All your equipment is stored in the trunk. You can also store your body armor in the car if you wear it, it appears. No longer just an invisible thing. There will be tons of subtitle reading. Think Max Payne 3 amounts. Very immersive, like watching an episode of Narcos. Whenever you're in South America, don't expect to hear much English. Vice City, however, is a mix of everything, but mostly English. Last bit of narrative info, it will discuss topics such as HIV and the immigration crisis at the time. A fictional version of Fidel Castro, etc. Next gen only, not PS4 or Xbox One. GTA 6 is on the primary focus, along inside another title. Game is still in pre-alpha, so names, locations, details could and probably will change. No ETN or release date. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe, and see you later.